Okay, so <coughs> excuse me for that. So uh, as it know, people always try to uh, get the best uh, vet uh, return situation, if I can call it that, for them to actually minimize them having to pay vet. You know, so we still elaborate a bit more with this situation of a second and good that also has like all these links that can come about. So originally what happened now is okay, uh, people uh, that happen to be co uh, companies in that instance uh, would have maybe bought like, you know, second and gates uh, from, from wherever they bought them from. And however, they would want to maybe still like, you know, get away from having to pay uh, tax or vet rather, uh, I'd put vet on the same uh, second and good uh, in them wanting to maybe, uh, let's say, uh, uh, export the actual item. But they would know that with the previous rule that we just basically elaborated on, uh, they would not be able to do that without having to recognize uh, output VAT to, to, to SARS based on the actual cost if that initially you know, claimed notional input as a result of the buyer that they would have bought from having been not registered vet vendor. So they would now try to get like a connected person. So what they do is, okay, in that instance, that likely sell to a connected person. And when they sell to a connected person who's likely a vet vendor as well, and they, they basically transact. Uh, so in that transaction, it becomes a normal standard rated, uh, you know, like supply of a service and, 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 and I mean, uh, of a good being exchanged from the seller's point of view to the buyer's point of view. But there is that connected person, you know, relationship that exists, but they try to comply within the rules of not having to bring in, you know, too many issues so far as the connected person rule is concerned. So they try maybe uh, make it look like, you know, the transaction happens at, uh, a greater open market value, you know, because that would be the connected person rule in any case. So they do that and the connected person will, will basically uh, buy the item from them. So they would have obviously claimed input VAT because it's a normal transaction, whereas the, the connected person from the perspective of the buyer would have levied an output VAT. So there would have been a net effect in that situation. Now the connected person takes the very same asset that they've just bought from their connected person in terms of the buyer side and they subsequently uh, export the item where they would now likely be seen as being okay normal tax uh, vendors in South Africa so it would be a standard rated supply because they just actually bought the actual item uh, from another vendor. So SARS put in a provision uh, in place for such transactions also not having any sort of leeway in getting away with matters so far as not paying like the actual payable uh, like you know output VAT that would have been realized had it been done by the initial uh, buyer who had claimed notional input. So that provision goes as follows in saying that uh, VAT will actually output VAT will actually be based on the greater of the cost price to the original buyer and the cost price to, to the actual connected person as well. So the greater of those two cost prices to the actual buyer who was the initial purchaser of the actual uh, second and third or the actual connected person who subsequently now like exporting the actual item. So in terms of the cost prices, the greater of the two that they would have bought from in terms of them having purchased the actual asset from the, the connected person being the buyer, that would be the cost price to, to, to the connected person. And the other co cost price that they would have to make comparisons with is one which emanated from the buyer having bought the actual asset from the non-vendor that they, they, they would have bought from. So the greater of those two cost prices that's what the actual connected person would likely have to recognize output VAT on the export of that good for. That would be the value. So that is the provision that SARS put in place 
and we'll basically go into an example just to nail that one home as well on the whiteboard.